perhaps the biggest constraints in applying nature-based solutions is the issue of confidence in that it would work. Well, it's been promoted across Asia in many places as a, a sustainable, cost-effective approach that can involve local communities. Um, Take-up has not been perhaps as high as expected because there is also perhaps a perception that this is not high-tech enough or that the stability and the effectiveness is perhaps not the same as using concrete, for example. Deforestation for land use planning and that coupled with the increased intensity and frequency of rainfall has resulted in an increased frequency of landslides. There are few policies and a few institutions which are taking the approach of using environmental approaches such as nature-based solutions in dealing with landslide risk management. There isn't as much funding available for these approaches as there is for the more traditional concrete and steel approaches. Some of them also have economic value, which brings extra benefits to the communities, whether they are plants or seeds that can be sold and, and bring in some economic value, which add to the benefits of, of these nature-based solutions. By demonstrating that this works and by finding the specifics that are useful for Sri Lanka, we hope that these projects will overcome these issues and be able to be more easily adopted and involve the community so they can see the benefits for themselves. We use natural restoration as the main approach and artificial restoration as the supplement to conserve and restore mangroves, coral reefs and sandy beaches. Studies have shown that these conservation and restoration programs are effective in mitigation of marine disasters. For example, a 500 meter wide mangrove belt can reduce wave height by 50 to 99%. Challenges remain ahead in the combat with the marine disasters. The roles of coastal ecosystems are not fully understood and considered in investment decision-making for eco-DRR. To achieve the co-benefits of ecosystem integrity, climate resilience, and the reduction of the risks of a typhoon, storm surges, and other marine disasters. Natural and anthropogenic causes for disasters including climate change, require systemic approach in response measures. We take a safety-oriented approach, which means to transform coastal defense measures from traditional gray infrastructure to the equal use of the safe regulating and the supporting functions of the ecosystems. We will continue to apply ecosystem approach and integrated coastal management so as to improve the quality of life and happiness for people.